Okay, students. Uh, in the previous topic, we have discussed that what is difference between distance, displacement, what is meant by speed, and how can we calculate the speed. Now, in this next slides, we will discuss what is meant by velocity. Again, we will study O level physics 5054. Unit number two, kinematics. So next learning objective is what is meant by velocity. As you already know that displacement is a vector quantity and that is in a particular direction. How we have defined the speed? The speed was related with the rate of change of distance. Now the velocity is, it is the rate of change of displacement. So displacement is the vector quantity it means that velocity is a vector quantity or the other definition of the velocity is the displacement per unit time the symbol for the velocity is v distance is represented by s time is represented by t the unit for the speed and velocity is the same that is meter per second it is a vector quantity, the SI unit is meter per second, the other one unit is the kilometer per hour. Now when an object start moving, then it will gain a particular speed. Then the initial velocity of the object is represented by symbol u and after a particular time when it gains some other speed, some other velocity, it is represented by v. So now there are two symbols which you have to remember because they will use in the next definition of the acceleration. Initial speed is represented by u, u, while the final velocity is represented by v. The next definition is acceleration. If you are sitting in a car, suddenly it gains momentum. It means the car is accelerating. So acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. The rate of change of velocity means velocity per unit time. Whenever there is a change in velocity with respect to time, that is called acceleration. So when there is no change in velocity with respect to time, it means there is no acceleration. So acceleration is particularly related with the change in velocity. Let's suppose you are riding a car with the speed of 80 km per hour this velocity is constant means you are traveling in a straight line with the same speed it means your velocity is constant so whenever there is constant velocity it means the acceleration will be zero so acceleration is the rate of change of velocity its symbol is small a acceleration is represented by small a and it's a vector quantity because velocity is a vector quantity acceleration will be vector quantity formula of the acceleration by using expression again the same point expression you will write down acceleration that is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time now acceleration that is equal to v minus u by t. This is a formula which you have to remember. The unit for the acceleration is meter per second square or ms minus 2. Preferred ms minus 2 will be the unit of the acceleration. Next one. What is meant by uniform acceleration? Go through for this table. In this table, the values are given time 0, velocity 0, time 1, velocity is 20, time 2, velocity is 40, time 3, velocity is 60. We will calculate the acceleration. Acceleration is equal to v minus u by t. In the simplest word, velocity divided by time, 20 divided by 1 gives you 20. 40 divided by 2, 20. 60 divided by 3 gives you 20. 
the acceleration is same the acceleration is constant so how can we define uniform acceleration many times this definition has been asked in the past papers for all level physics 5054 when velocity increases increases this is the key point when velocity increases uniformly in uniform time interval look at that the time is increasing by 1 second the velocity is increasing by 20 meter per second so acceleration will be constant three other terms which are used in the paper is uniform acceleration steady acceleration constant acceleration so any one of these can be asked in the paper formula which we will uh, already learn a equal to v minus u by t so let's suppose i will take this set of the value 1 and 2 this is the initial velocity which is 20 this is the final which is 60 so i will apply the formula 60 minus 20 over 3 minus 1 40 divided by 2 again i got the same value so uniform acceleration is whenever velocity increasing uniformly steadily with the same rate then the acceleration will be uniform non uniform acceleration look at this table in the initial the car was at rest so 20 divided by 1 gives you 20 what divided by 2 gave you 20 now 30 divided by 3 It is forty. Now thirty eighty divided by three. So twenty six point six six. So it is twenty seven. Now look at the value of the acceleration. These values are the different one. so it means that we will say that now the acceleration is non uniform still the car speed is increases but not with the regular interval except these two so then the car gain a momentum with non regular intervals now there is a misconception between the negative acceleration and the deceleration a very simple thing whenever you will apply the brakes the car speed will slow down whenever the car speed will slow down this is the key point after applying the brakes then there is called a negative acceleration or it is called as the deceleration this table initial velocity after 1 second is 400 and final velocity after 3 second is 100 meter per second from this table you can observe 400 then 200 then 100 it means after applying the brakes the car speed will become slow will become less will decrease so that is called as the deceleration and why it is called negative acceleration our reason we will substitute the values initial velocity u is 400 final velocity v is 100 so 100 minus 400 divided by 3 minus 1 i got a negative sign the negative sign will represent it is a negative acceleration so the answer is minus 150 meter per second square so this is the negative acceleration now one question which i want to ask from you from all of you write down the answer in the comments uh the question is this a car is traveling with a constant speed of let's suppose 60 km per hour but it is traveling in a zigzag path once again i will repeat my question a car is traveling with a constant speed of 60 km per hour but it is continuously changing its direction is there any acceleration if yes then why is there an is there no acceleration 
if there is no acceleration then why there is no acceleration stay tuned i am waiting for your reply in the comments so in the next video we will discuss a very very critical and the important learning objective of the chapter number 2 5054 all level physics kinematics the graphical portion first we will cover the distance time graph in detail and then we will cover the velocity time graph stay tuned take care